It happens all too often. A car crosses a railroad track at precisely the wrong time. There it is, and you never win against the train. Shane Riley of the Colt Railroad says maintaining good visibility at railroad crossings is key. One constant problem that can hinder visibility is weeds. It's a constant battle on the railroads, always weeds are a big thing to fight. Railroads have enlisted help from the University of Missouri in their war against weeds. Reed Smita, weed scientist in MU's College of Agriculture, Food and Natural Resources, works with the railroads to come up with better strategies to combat weeds. So we're approached by a lot of different people to try to find the best possible mixtures to control weeds before they come up or once they do come up to manage these weeds. Some of these weeds are invasive, they come new to a site, others they've been there for a long time. Alternating herbicides is one of the main methods to combat weeds. Many railroads are comfortable using mixtures that work, but using the same weed killer repeatedly can lead to herbicide resistant plants. Our job is to tell them Look, when the mixtures are still working, now is the time to switch to another program so we can keep effectively managing weeds rather than trying to solve a really large problem. Weed control is a critical part of safety. Collisions are not the only problem that weeds present to railroads. Many trains create sparks on the tracks, which could ignite dry vegetation. There are more than 200,000 railroad crossings in the U.S., and weeds can vary from town to town. That's why MU research is underway throughout the Midwest. We have several trial locations, not only in Missouri, but western Kansas, uh, northern Illinois, uh, even Arkansas. Weed maintenance is expensive. The goal of MU research is to control vegetation and reduce cost while keeping safety at the forefront. You've got to make time for safety, and sometimes safety gets expensive, but it has to be done. From the University of Missouri, I'm Kent Faddis reporting.